you know why you're doing your exercises and you also know how to keep yourself safe at home doing them. We've prepared a short video clip for you to follow on a regular basis at home without all the explanations. Make sure to have watched the first video clip before you attempt this one. So the first thing we do is um, a small warm up and that's to boost your circulation to get you ready for your strengthening exercises. So you're going to march your feet on the spot in sitting. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. If you're able, you can add in your arms as well, nice and gently on the spot. And if you find the legs too difficult, you could just do the arms. So you do what you're able for at your own pace for 30 seconds to warm up. In this exercise, we're strengthening the muscles at the front of your thigh, which is your quads muscle. I want you to sit up taller, nice and steady in your chair. You're going to straighten your left leg fully and bring your toes up to you and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly lower. And again. five on that side, we're going to do the other side. We're not in a rush, it's at their pace. One, two, three, four, five and the other side. We're gonna do 10 on each side. One, two, three, four, five. And last one, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Your arm exercises are for your upper body strength. They're really important. One at a time, we're going to lift one can over your head and back down. Four, watch out the pace. Five, six. Lovely. Exercise three is sit to stand. First of all, I'm gonna get you to put your steady chair against the wall so it doesn't tip back and you're safe. Walk your hips out your chair, so about halfway out your chair. I want you to keep your feet steady on the ground. Bring your nose over your toes and push up into standing. Lovely. Can you step back, feel for the chair behind your knees and slowly lower yourself to sitting. Slowly lower. Be forward and up. Perfect. Step back and slow it down. Forward, up. Step back and slowly down. Take a little pause when you sit down. And again, slowly forward and up. Step back slowly down okay 
so that's eight now and pause and again next exercise is calf raises. You're going to be in standing. You're going to hold on to a steady surface with both hands. That's either your kitchen sink or a very steady chair. Your feet are hip width apart, so nice and comfortable. I want you to look straight ahead. And now are you going to lift up onto your toes and slowly down. Again, lift up onto your toes and slowly drop your heel to the ground. The next exercise is toe raises. Hold on to your steady surface, your kitchen sink or your chair with both hands. You're going to place your weight on the back of your foot and then you lift your toes and slowly drop. That's really good. Lift your toes and slowly drop. And again, we're working as you're able up to 10 repetitions. So hip strengthening is important for your side hip muscles and for the muscles in your bottom. You're holding on to your steady chair or your sink with both hands. You're gonna put your feet hip width apart, so you're nice and comfortable. And now I'm gonna ask you to lift your left leg out to the side and slowly drop it back in. And again. Slowly drop it back in. Lifting leg is working hard and the standing leg is working hard. So you'll feel that work on both sides. And after five, we're going to change to the other side. Good. And again, remembering to keep your back upright and your hips level, that you're not leaning to the side. The next exercise is a balance exercise. It's heel to toe standing. I want you to stand in front of your steady surface, two hands on your steady chair or your kitchen sink. So you're going to try and get them heel to toe and you're holding on nice and securely all of the time. If you find that too hard, I want you to stride stand. Okay, so you're going to place the feet a little apart and you're gonna try and hold that for 10 seconds. And then we're going to change sides. And the last exercise is also a balance exercise. It's standing on one leg. Holding on to your steady chair or your kitchen sink with two hands so that you're nice and secure. You're going to lift one leg to stand Great, and it's important that you don't join your knees together. So you're going to keep your knees apart. Be able to hold it for 10 seconds, but it's going to have a benefit even if you're able to hold it for one or two, and you're gonna build on that then. So we change sides, and again, holding, and again, emphasizing that if you can hold it for a short, 
time, you can build on um, that every time you do it. Thank you for watching our physiotherapy exercises. We hope you stay safe, stay strong, and maintain your balance.